When it, it comes to learning about the history of a new destination, travelers should look no further than its iconic buildings. Of course, there are other ways to discover the local culture, which can be reflected in the food, the textiles and the dialects. But its buildings can tell us a lot about a country's way of life and the culture during the period when it was built. Let's start with the number one, Hagia Sophia, Istanbul, Turkey. You can find links to the buy tickets to this destination in the description under the video. Once a church, later a mosque, and now a museum, Hagia Sophia is an architectural masterpiece, a perfect example of Byzantine architecture. Hagia Sophia is located in Istanbul, Turkey. It served as a center of religious, political and artistic life for the Byzantine world and has provided us with many useful scholarly insights into the period. It was also an important site of Muslim worship after Sultan Mehmed II conquered Constantinople in 1453 and designated the structure a mosque. Metropolitan Cathedral of St. Vitus, Prague, Czech Republic. Guided tour is also available. Check description. The Metropolitan Cathedral of St. Vitus is the largest and the most important cathedral in Prague. The building has always dominated the Prague castle and the city. The cathedral also has a very rich history. In the past, church services and coronations of Czech kings and queens took place there. The St. Vitus Cathedral is also a place of deposition of the remains of Czech sons, monarchs, noblemen and archbishops. Number 3. Dancing House, Prague, Czech Republic. The Dancing House was designed by the Croatian Czech architect Vlado Milunic in 1992 and completed in 1996. The very non-traditional design was controversial at the time because the house stands out among the Baroque, Gothic and Art Nouveau buildings for which Prague is famous and in the opinion of some it does not accord well with these architectural styles. The then Czech president Vaclav Havel, who lived for the decades next to the site, had avidly supported this project, hoping that the building would become a center of cultural activity. Number 4. The Gateway Arch, St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Gateway Arch has welcomed visitors for 50 years with its iconic, AV inspiring shape. It took 7 years, 30 million dollars and over 43,000 tons of stainless steel to build the world's largest man-made arch. Though you can't climb its 1076 steps, a 4-minute tram ride after a long waiting line takes you up through the arch hollow legs to the viewing booth. A clear day offers 30-mile views over the St. Louis skyline and the Mississippi River. Number 5. Acropolis of Athens, Greece. Audio tours available for all languages. Check description. The Acropolis of Athens is a flat-topped rock with a complex of remains of monuments of the Greek cult. The great sanctuary of ancient Athens, dedicated primarily to its patron, the goddess Athena. The Acropolis was designed as a UNESCO World Heritage since 1987 for its illustrating the civilization, myths and religions that flourished in Greece over a period of more than thousand years. Number 6. Taj Mahal, Agra, India. 
you can skip the line with a guided tour to this destination. The Taj Mahal of Agra is one of the seven wonders of the world, for reason more than just looking magnificent. The monument dates back to 1642 and is actually a tomb that contains the body of Muntaz Mahal, the wife of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. He had it built as an ode to his love for her. It's made out of marble and took 22 years and 20,000 workers to complete. Words cannot do the Taj Mahal justice, its incredible detail simply has to be seen to be appreciated. Number 7. Westminster Abbey, London, UK Westminster Abbey, London Church that is the site of coronations and other ceremonies of national significance. It stands just west of the Houses of Parliament in the Greater London Borough of Westminster. Situated on the grounds of a former Benedictine monastery, it was refounded as a collegiate church of St. Peter in Westminster by Queen Elizabeth I in 1560. In 1987, Westminster Abbey, St. Margaret's Church and the Houses of Parliament were collectively designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 8. The Gherkin, London, United Kingdom The Gherkin is one of the most dramatic landmarks in London. Situated in the main financial district, the 40-story office has won a unique place in the affections of many, as well as a host of awards. It received the Royal Institute of British Architects Sterling Prize in 2004. The building's unique form is a response to the constraints of its seat. Its shape appears less bulky than a rectangular block, creating public space at street level. It also offers minimal resistance to wind, improving the environment for people on the ground and reducing the load on the building. Number 9. Dome of the Rock, Jerusalem, Israel For this attraction we recommend you a full day tour. Check description. The Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem is a magnificent monument and an added great treasure in the world architecture. According to Arab tradition, the purpose of the Umayyad Caliph Abd al-Malik in building the Dome of the Rock was to commemorate Prophet Muhammad's ascension into heaven after his night journey to Jerusalem. Dome of the Rock is built on an octagonal plan topped by a semicircular great dome and supported by a circular drum. Four doors, each facing one of the cardinal directions, are built into the walls of the building. The Dome of the Rock is used for private prayer and as a place of Muslim pilgrimage. Number 10. Chateau Frontenac, Quebec, Canada The impressive Chateau Frontenac is Quebec City's most famous landmark. The luxurious hotel, perched atop Cape Diamond since the late 19th century, was designed to convey prestige in keeping with its old Quebec surroundings. Today the Chateau Frontenac is so well known that it has inspired its own renovations. The replacement of its original roof with one that looks identical and the partial renewal of its interior decor were aimed at preserving its unique character while maintaining maximum comfort and convenience for customers for decades to come. Historic events have taken place in the building and famous people have stayed there. The most demanding travelers are accommodated at the hotel and Quebec City residents celebrate special moments there. Number 11. Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, Spain The expiatory temple of the Sagrada Familia, the construction of which commenced in 1882, is today one of the emblems of Barcelona. 
known around the world and visited by millions of people. The work of Antony Gaudi, who wanted to create the perfect temple, presents the life of Jesus and the history of faith. The 18 towers are dedicated to important biblical figures, and this is reflected in their size. Twelve of them represent the apostles, four the evangelists, one the Virgin Mary, and the highest of them all represent Jesus Christ, which will be topped by a cross reaching a height of 172 meters. When it has been completed, the Sagrada Familia will be the highest building in Barcelona and the highest church in the world. Number 12. The Shard. London, United Kingdom. London isn't short of spectacular and spectacularly tall viewpoints, but the view from the Shard is supreme. At 310 meters, the Shard isn't only the tallest building in London, it's the tallest in the whole of Western Europe and offers guests a sensational experience starting when you enter on the ground floor. It is a mixed-use vertical city with 25 floors of office space, 3 floors of restaurant, a 17-story hotel, 13 floors of apartments and a triple-height public viewing gallery, as well as a near-open-air viewing floor on level 72. Number 13. Le Mont Saint-Michel, Normandy, France Apart from monuments in and around Paris, Mont Saint-Michel is the most visited tourist attraction in France. Mont Saint-Michel was one of the first monuments to be classed as UNESCO World Heritage Site as far back as 1979. Le Mont Saint-Michel is not just a church on a rock, it is a whole medieval city, one of the few places in France to have preserved intact its medieval walls and defenses. The city, though small, has to this day inhabitants, not many full-time inhabitants and a mayor and, in addition to its religious monuments, has old houses, narrow streets, hotels, restaurants and shops, all catering for the over a million tourists who come to visit this magnificent city each year. Number 14. Heydar Aliyev Center, Baku don't forget to check our private tour to Haydar Aliyev Center. The Haydar Aliyev Center is a building complex in Baku, Azerbaijan, designed by Iraqi-British architect Zaha Hadid and noted for its distinctive architecture and flowing, curved style that issues sharp angles. Haydar Aliyev Center had an official soft opening ceremony on 10 May 2012 held by the current president of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev. Number 15 and the last one, Space Needle, Seattle, Washington, USA. The Space Needle is undoubtedly one of Seattle's most iconic landmarks. Built for the 1962 World's Fair, it's a futuristic observation tower and the most prominent building in the Seattle skyline. Visitors can reach the top of the Space Needle by elevator for amazing views of the area. Though it would be easy to brush this off as a tourist attraction, architecture nerds and anyone with an affinity for views should definitely add this to their list. At 520 feet high, the observation deck boasts the best 360 degree view you'll find in the city. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Let us know what is your top and we will appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to our channel.